Hey guys, right now we are hopping on to end of the road to begin the fire challenge. This will be two round 80 and you can only use flame, fire, and heat based towers. That doesn't mean they have to do fire DOT, that doesn't mean there has to be like fire like in like the whole upgrade thing, it just means they have to have some sort of fire involved. So we're gonna start with this wizard to get us before, to get us to enough money so we can get Gwendolyn because Gwendolyn is a very good hero she is she has the unique ability to pass on certain attack properties to other towers like the heated up allowing them to pop lead balloons which not many people actually know about and like the one where she had the one where she set the whole screen on fire you don't survive DDTs without that I it's so hard because it it gets everything for like a while. It has a longer fire DOT than any normal DOT, like from like like the grape shot and the hot shot. From like the dragon's breath, from like the phoenix. It it has a lot more burn time, which is so much damage. And if you just look at her pops while she's doing that. <sighs> in for a treat but yeah we got her down she's actually really good early mid and late game because you really just need to place a cheap tower before you get her and this is on hard you might need to wait a little longer on impoppable or chimps and she kind of st sticks with you the whole game she's not exactly a background hero like she's like out there getting pops she doesn't get camo she's She's all around a really good hero. She has not that amazing of range, but if you had a village and she gets more at later levels, and she's basically a slower Dragon's Breath right now, but, like, heat it up. It's a firewall everywhere, and better than heat it up. It's like, uh, it's like maybe her level 7 or level 8 ability. Instead of shooting one fire blast, she shoots two, which is insanity. That it it gives her so much more like area damage for like the projectile hitting. If you get her in like a straight bit of track, it goes so much further. Gwendolyn generally is a very good hero. Like if I were to do like a tier maker for all the heroes, like every other balloon zooper did and how original would I be if I did that? No, sorry, how unoriginal would I be if I did that? Gwendolyn was always either A or B tier. Because not only that, like she has beautiful skins. She has like really nice generally like Ninja can we put a lot of work into this tower. Like they they even gave her, like, hair physics. Like, when she turns around, her hair, like, w wiggles a little bit. Which, like, not any other tower does. And I really like the scientist skin. But even more than that, I really love, like, the Harlequin skin. Where she's, like, Harlequin. But, like, all, like, fiery. And she shoots, like, this pink fire. And, oh, I wasn't paying attention. These purples won't kill us. Chillax. Everyone else was scared but me. But that's not going to be fun. What we're going to do now is we're going to get a boomerang with red hot. Because that's really good. And then glaive. So pierce off the charts. And then we're also going to... Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, we're also going to get that boat. That boat can get all balloon types. It's not really there for the popping power. It's there to deal with any, like, stray camos, any stray leads. Well, what am I saying? Everything can pop leads on this, on this screen. And this is a tower that pops the purples and the camo purples. Because as we learned earlier, purples get by a fire-based defense. But, like, generally anything that isn't, like, pure fire, like, the glaives can pop it. Uh, actually, this fire attack shooter that I'm working on can pop it. My whole plan for this is to really 
spawn camp them. It's to just have a bunch of those low-range attack shooters with maybe a camo village. And then just see how, like, like maybe like six of them. And just see how much damage can we get and how much burn damage and how much DOT can we get right as everything spawns in. Since I, I've already done this, I've already experienced this part of life, it gets really overpowered. Like, later on, there's a 4 to 5 BFB gets popped by 6 tax shooters, which are one of the most underrated towers in the game. Generally, the tax shooter is such a good early game tower, and on the new map, like Unbalance or Balance, you have one in the middle, give it a village, Game over. You're done. They have to pass through that like six times. You give it an alchemist, like the primary village, like the little tree house, and then like the castle. And you also give it like the MIB so you can like, no camos or purples can sneak by. You won. Or Sada. Sada, the new hero. You put her in there. It's too easy. But back to this challenge. Uh, we're going to use a Bernie Stuff Mortar. Just because that does pr like pretty pretty good fire damage. And we're just going to spam down more those. And actually, we might as well just get an advanced intel like heat tipped. Doesn't exactly do much damage, but it's another fire tower. And you gotta love fire towers, don't you? If you don't like fire towers, what are you doing? Spawn camping with tax shooters. It's my favorite thing to ever do. Blues don't know what hit them. There's just red hot tax in their faces. They show up. They're like, alright, we're getting we're, we're getting to the monkey's base now. You just see three. Probably gonna add more in, in a little while. Six tax shooters, so it's gonna be like rings of fire with that nice primary buff. Shredding. Just, just shredding. Nothing gets by. No, not at all. No. It's not, it's not even funny. But, let's actually get a spike factory, because white hot spikes technically counts. It counts as a fire tower. So do the spike balls and the spike mines because they do fire damage and they're fire based. So we can use them. And spike factor is very good tower. And an amazing back defense for pretty much anything. You need it to beat the harder modes like the impossible because you only have one life and you can't really spare any like we did with the purples on this one. You can't make it without them. We have another s double. No, we have two spike balls, which do a lot of ceramic damage. We have Gwendolyn with us. Once again, a lot of ceramic damage. Generally, the only thing we should even be kind of worried about is purples. But we have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of anti-purple now. So it's going to be pretty hard to lose. And we crush the BFB. There's really nothing to worry about. And I don't really know what to place next. I feel like maybe... Mm. Should I get a dragon's breath? Oh, oh, oh my god, 63 got far. 63 got far. 63 is... Yeah, we need one or two more dragon's breath. Dragon's, yeah. And then this one should also have camo. Because camo is always nice. 
This can pop any balloon type except for purples. We have pretty solid coverage on pretty much everything. I honestly think we have this challenge in the bag, but we're just gonna we're gonna see how it plays out. Yeah, they don't stand a chance. Hmm. Yeah, there's just there's so many walls of fire around. They can't not get wall of fired. The hot shots are doing good. I'm probably yeah, should probably get Ring of Fire on all of them, like I did that first one. The Little Pink Menace. It's my favorite tower. It's a cute little tower, and it does so much damage. Like, on, like... What's the map? Four circles? You have no idea. No idea at all. It's so... So good because like the tax zone has a lot of range and then you give it like all the buffs you can with like the village and the alchemist it's just it almost fits perfectly somebody did it with like four people and basically god boosted them i don't know i don't remember who uh maybe it was sunday a little while back yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Sunday, and he brought, he, I think he might have brought, he definitely brought 2D, he might have had sigils there, and I think, mm, who was the last one? I honestly can't remember the last one. Well, anyways, let's spawn camp the balloon some more. Oh, yeah. Hot shots on everybody. Oh, I forgot the middle one. I apologize, little middle one. Yeah, but nothing nothing at all is going to get by. Fire is such, such a powerful thing. Like, no, like, really, nothing at all can even try to get by. We only have five, four... No, only three more rounds. 76 was quick. So now we're on 77. Honestly, we have no worries. But you don't know. The camo's on round 78. You don't know. I don't know. You don't know. The purple snuck up on this. The purple snuck up on us. Something else may sneak up on us. And in that situation, we do Gwendolyn's Big Burn. But yeah, that was the first thing of 78 where everybody could see it. I'm not quite sure if the second one, which is all camo, but there's less of them, those might actually get far, which I don't really like. Oh, oh my. Oh, okay, see? The spike balls. All spike balls, like 100%. We only have... I can't do that. We only have 40... Yeah, o yeah. we only have 40 lives right now. And that includes our mana shield. 78 almost beat us. Could you imagine? Could you imagine we died before... We died a round or two before beating one of the biggest balloons in the game? That would just be so annoying. But we didn't. It's happened to me a lot. I hate 78. Everyone hates 78. Everyone hates 76. Everyone hates 63. But yet, we're going to light everything on fire. Ooh, we beat this OMG. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end. Tomorrow, we'll see. No, sorry. Tomorrow, I'll show you guys how I play Impossible. See you guys later. Goodbye.